Brightest blessings, everyone. Uh, this is a video response to a video entitled God Hates America. And gee, who was this video intended for? Yep, the winners at the Westboro Baptist Church finally got their own YouTube account. It is now under God Hates Fags. Gee, what a surprise. I wish they'd come up with something a little bit, just a little bit more creative. Uh-oh. Creative. They might have to hire a fag for that. <gasps> oh my. Anyway. You know, I've noticed something about these people. And maybe if you look at some of their videos, you can, you can tell me if I'm off on this one. If you notice if they're on camera for any particular reason, if it's on a talk show that they particularly had or, or you know, had, you know, were booked for, they're constantly frowning. They're constantly, they have that angry look on their face, that hatred look on their face. They're not happy. If they're out in their own element, picketing something that they chose to be at and picketing. They're never smiling. They're never happy. They're there to sit there and counteract what you have to say and smi and and the they're, they're just frowning and angry faces. But there is one time where you actually see them and they've got not only smiles on their faces but they look downright happy and joyful and loving and they've got that twinkle in their eye, you know, that, that smile that you look like you're smiling at your, at your husband or wife at, you know, that true love smile. And that's whenever they're doing a video and saying something at the end like, America is doomed. Or they'll do it also with, thank God for 9-11. Thank God for dead soldiers. God hates fags. You know, these are the people that that think everybody except for their sect of Christianity is going to burn in hell. So basically everyone on this earth is going to burn in hell. Even all the Christians of every different division of Christianity is wrong except for them. Even other Baptists are wrong except for them. And so everyone on this green earth is going to burn in hell. They are the only ones that will enter the kingdom of heaven. They are the only ones that have a chance to enter the kingdom of heaven because according to them, it's too late to say, I'm sorry. It's too late to repent. It's too late to do anything. It's even too late to pray. You know, I don't understand how someone could take such joy in that. You know, it makes me wonder if, if they want to start their morning by taking a baby puppy and killing it. You know, just wake up in the morning, stretch those arms and say, I don't need my morning coffee or orange juice. I want to go out to the barn, pick up a baby bunny, and kill it. And then I'll get that smile on my face to start my day. I know it sounds kind of strange and kind of odd, but for these people, not so. Now, another thing I wanted to discuss is how they see God. According to them, God doesn't love everybody. God is not an all-encompassing, all-loving God. In fact, some sects of Christianity says that God is not an all-loving God, and God does not love everyone. Unfortunately, it, they're still not quite there with the Westboro Baptist Church, because God will never love anybody unless you're part of the Westboro Baptist Church. Now, Basically, they say that God completely hates you, not just hates you, if you're not in their little Christianity part of church, not part of the Westboro Baptist Church, but he hates you with a passion. He hates you with every fiber of his being. 
He hates you. He spits on you. If you are on fire, he wouldn't think twice about ever even pissing on you because you're not worth it. You are not worth it for him to piss on if you were on fire. And he says that, and they say that about these people they know nothing of. They don't know if these people are of God. They don't know how they live their lives. They don't know Jack. But the thing is, my question is, and I had even put it as a comment below the video, and all I got was Bible verses. But my question is, and I would like them to respond, and I would like anybody else that agrees with the Westboro Baptist Church to respond. How could you love or even try to crawl on your belly for little crumbs from a God that finds you in such disgust, such disdain, such hatred? You know what? I just thought about something. Isn't hate supposed to be a sin? Isn't it impossible for God to sin? So if hate is a sin, how can God hate? Especially hate a creation that he has made. I don't look at Christi I don't look I don't see God and the devil as Christians do because I am not a Christian. However, my question to Christians all over whether you're with the Westboro Baptist Church or any other Christian or Christianity or whatever. How can you, or why would you even want to even crawl on your belly for just little scraps of crumbs that this God that hates you with such a passion, for this God that, that thinks that you're lower than amoeba shit, for this God that hates you so very much. You know, Satan or the devil in Christianity is supposed to be the end-all, be-all of evil. And I don't even see that Satan in the Christianity thought could even be so evil and so, so vindictive. So who's evil? God or Satan? And I'm speaking of the idea of God or Satan from a Christianity point of view for all my uh, brothers and sisters who know my personal beliefs. I'm just asking how they could even want acceptance from something like this. And yes, I am posting this as a response to the Westboro Baptist Church and, and linking it to their video. And you know what? If they don't accept it as a video response, it's right over there. I'm putting a link to it. Take a look. Take a look at some of their other crappy videos. Let me know how you feel. And yeah, I want a response from God Hates Fags as well. Blessed be.